Well, if you build it, they will come so they can build it too. That is the philosophy of a local group of scientists who are banding together to help others create. Our JT Street shows us how they make the most of their evenings on Streets Corner. Woo! All right, load it up. This one's going to be my last bag. Mine is 2.85. With sandbags and bottled water, Timberworks Daniel Rag eagerly pushes a piece of plastic to the limit. Don't miss the moment. Oh, there we go. I, I have the face shield for a reason. <laughs> that reason? Science. That scared me. We're breaking them to get the data. So we can say, this is what happens when you make it at this rate. The other reason? Bragging rights. Last time we met, somebody said, what's the strongest thing you can 3D print? This is the mine's better than yours. My piece of plastic is better than your piece of plastic that I made on my machine that I made at home. That's the passion the members of 10BitWorks bring to their maker space, along with a heck of a lot of know-how. You ask the electrical engineer, you ask the, the mechanical uh, tool maker, they're all here. This guy welds, that guy uh, programs. You could go your lifetime and never meet that spread of people, and they're all just sitting around. Maker Don Smeller says that brain trust helped the group win its newest toy, an inventable Shapeoko 3D carving kit that lets the makers design and carve shapes out of wood and metal. That company gave away one machine to each state in the union. We won this one for San Antonio. We won one for Texas. Yeah, we won one for Texas. <laughs> There's only one way a group of Texas makers could celebrate a win like that. They're bottle openers. We got some beer in the fridge. <laughs> The 10-Bit Works guys are already working on their next big project, a Kickstarter campaign to raise the money to buy a laser cutter. If you'd like to be on Streets Corner, you can follow me on Twitter at Streets Corner or at Facebook.com slash Streets Corner. JT Street, Fox News at 9.